Alright guys, um, Fishing Wisconsin here. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about Venner Baits. Um, this is all the bait styles that they're going to have to offer. Um, first I'm going to start off here with the 3 inch, 3 inch hog frog. This is the black chartreuse color. Um, I like just three different attributes that I love about this frog. is You can throw it, 20 pound braid. Oh, and you can even throw out 50, 60, 70 pound braid. What I like about it is it doesn't take a big hook to rig this sucker. All you need is a little, this is an owner one on, and it comes out perfect. Owner one on hook does on this sucker. And you just kind of skin hook it in the slot there, perfectly weedless. These things really are good at buzzing along. Uh, I like throwing them lily pads, uh, not too thick in the lily pads though, just smaller lily pads. Um, next we're going to get to the big 4 inch hog frog, this is a badass bullfrog color, kind of a more natural color. Um, throwing this on a 2 aught wide gap, or a 3 aught wide gap, again just Texas rigging it. Throwing this in a little thicker pads, and this is a pretty good substitute for a hollow body. But this this frog is huge. I mean, this is probably this is just a huge meaty frog. Again, that hook comes straight up in that slot that it has there. Uh, when these baits are Texas rigged right, what they're made to do is uh, when you set the hook on that fish. Obviously your thing's going to come out like that, and since your hook eye is in the vincer right there, it's going to pull out of the bait, this frog's going to ride up the line and be fighting with that nice owner on a two-out hook there. Next I'm going to come to their hollow body swim baits that we that they have to offer at Venner Baits. Uh, this is the Sexy Shad 5 inch, nice boot tail on there, great custom color that they have, kind of got it, almost like somebody took a marker and swiggled down the side. Um, I don't have any of the 4 inch, but they do offer 4 inch in a whole bunch of colors. Go to www.vinnerbaits.com, check that out. Um, I have this little 3 inch yellow perch, mainly one of my uh, swim bait, swim jig trailers, but when I'm fishing small ponds, throwing this on a little 3 out wide gap weightless, or I'm throwing it with one of their 3 out uh, tail dragger hooks. Then. I have my favorite color up here from Wisconsin. This is the Vinterbaits Pile Driver Swim Jig. Um, this is the smallest size they got, orange craw color. What I like about this is there's a lot of perch up here. It's that orange and brown skirt with that little three inch Vinterminer trailer. Really gets them going. I like a tail with quite a bit of sway. Just gives the bait more action. Pick up a lot of big bites on that. Um, then we just kind of have the Vinter, the Vinter craw finesse. Now, this isn't the Vintercraw. This is just the Vinterbaits trailer. Um, great little bait. Uh, throwing that purple smoke, throwing that on purple and white jigs. Good color. I got also got white pearls, so just depending. But a lot of times up in Wisconsin here, they just like it. That purple flake in the bait really gets them going, it seems like. Um, next, I got the Vinterbaits flipping jig. And I'm one on there. I got one of those purple smoke trailers. They got the uh, rattles on there, which are nice. And this is in the purple and black color. Um, I kind of like black and blue, purple and black, and then green pumpkin are my favorite jig colors. But um, this is a great jig because, uh, great flipping jig, sorry. Because look at the barb on that, it bends up instead of bending back. So you're still going to hook that fish, you're still going to have that barb from coming out. But that's also going to help you, if, as long as this weed guard's working and it's not getting in the stuff, the weeds ain't getting to the point of the bait, you're still going to have a, uh, that hook, that barb's going to help you push that cover off that hook. Uh, great to use midsummer. Next we got the little quarter ounce finesse jig. Again, got the purple smoke trailer on there. I love using these for smallmouth. These are just great little little quarter ounce jigs. I mean, they're almost like a Strike King Bitsy Boo, but again with the pretty much bulletproof paint, 
this jig head will literally break before the paint will chip. Great paint, all custom uh, painted, hand painted stuff. Then we're gonna come to the kind of older styles of bitter baits, but this is the Crazy Curl Beeve June Bug color. Um, you can throw this sucker top water, more subtle action, if you don't want one of these uh, hog frogs. Got the nice big old paddles on there for claws. Great. Um, sometimes I, I'll throw these on a swim bait hook, and they actually they kick butt. For all you smallmouth fishermen out there, um, here's a great <coughs> little one. This is the crazy creature. Um, this is in watermelon color, but I love this bait just because <coughs> kind of like the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver, like that profile of bait. It's small, like this would be the smaller version, but those claws will kick up. And with the fin cert and the nose of the bait, this will last you probably 20, 25 fish, 10 times more than a reaction innovation speed will. Next, we're gonna come to a crazy crawl bug. Um, this kind of got the beaver type top on it, then it's got the claws and the tentacles. Great profile bait. Um, I like throwing these anywhere. Mainly in like uh, rock piles, gravel piles. I mean, if you're fishing for smallmouth, these claws are going to stick up and stuff. Get in that fighting stance, and this will pick up huge smallmouth if you like fishing smallmouth. Right here, I got a uh, crazy crawl worm, black and red color. Uh, again, just a great crawl bait to throw. Kind of like an older version. And the predecessor to that is going to be the. Uh, Vinter Crawl, and this is the VTS series, so the Vinsert's going all the way through the uh, Vinter Bait. Probably took out the purple smoke because you can kind of see it a little bit. But as you can see, the Vinsert's going all the way through the bait. So you're going to have it, uh, the hook in there twice. Great bait. Love using this thing. Uh, those claws are really flappy. Like, you can't stop moving them. Uh, next is one of my favorite flipping baits as of now. Um, this is Venerate's Flappin' Lizzie, four inch in a shockwave color. Again, up in Wisconsin here. I don't know if it's just something with the bass, but they just love any type of bait with purple flake in it. Uh, whether it be black and purple, June bug, you know, purple smoke. I love purple smoke. Uh, if you go to Sharpshooters 101, go to tube fishing, I mean, that day, <coughs> we probably caught 20 one-pound, six-ounce bass. I mean, they're not big, and kind of, forgive Luke, he's kind of going crazy, because that pond had a dial two years ago, and those fish aren't that big. But we were just catching the big ones out of that pond in a purple smoke color. Canyon Plastics Custom Baits gets a tube. Um, Again, Flappin' Lizzie would be a great little pond bait too. This is kind of a brush hog type bait, but big flipping bait. This is the, uh, <coughs> we call it the Kraken, but it really it's the Flappin' Hog. A uh, purple smoke color, six inches, massive. Again, you got the big old claws on here. You got your nice flappers, and then you're gonna have your curl tails. That's going to bring in a lot of big bites flipping this summer. I can just feel it. Um, I'll probably be throwing that. Uh, I like flipping with one on owner hooks. Again, just sweet little Texas rig to use. I like owner hooks. It's just, I guess, preference. But you're going to come in pretty much behind those claws with the one on. I can never get it through the Vincer. All right, there we go. We're gonna come out the bait. All right, you're gonna come out that bait. It's gonna be a nice Texas rig, but I kind of can't get it because it's catching on the Vincer a little bit. This one's a little different because the Vincer's in there. But uh, throw that in heavy cover. Flipping pockets and Kissimmee grass, whatever, you know, whatever you mainly flip, wherever you, if you throw zoom brush hogs, throw this thing. 
it'll catch them the same, even better, because it'll last longer. But this is their 5.25 uh, inch Wacky Stick Watermelon Red. Um, I got three ways of throwing this, four sometimes. Um, a lot of times I'm just uh, drop shot rigging it, small mouth or large mouth off deep points and stuff. That's an owner one off finesse hook. Um, another time, another thing that I like to do that I found kind of good this summer, let's take one of these uh, wacky jig hooks and just put this on here, just like nose hook it. And again, you're not, it's not going to pull off because it's got the vincer holding it on there. And you're just going to twitch this thing, let it fall. And I mean, this thing's got crazy good action. You're going to catch big bass on this sucker. Um, then you can also shaky head rig it on, this is the one out, one eighth ounce, sorry, a three out or four out hook, I believe, on this shaky stick hook. Uh, you can get these off betterbaits.com, just like all of these baits here, but a uh, one eighth ounce ball shaky head style. Uh, I like the ball better than pretty much any other shaky head because this shaky stick, the tail floats anyway. So you don't, you don't need a Buckeye Lures Half Moon where it's just landing. And you don't really get a lot of action out of those, I believe, because they, they kind of slide across the bottom when you're trying to jiggle it. But these, uh, the, the hook will rest until you start jiggling it. And then the hook just kind of goes with the ball until it unlatches itself when you pop it. Next, I got the 5-inch uh, Wacky Stick. I also got the 3-inch, but I didn't feel like using it because it's my ice fishing box. Uh, great action on these going to last 20 to 25 times longer than Yamamoto Senko. Again, like one of these four or five bucks a pack. Great bait. This is pumpkin seed color. Again, their pumpkin seed comes with purple flake. That's really turning these Wisconsin bass on. Um, you're going to pull that out. And that, like, Venerates has wacky hooks now, but I like this tungsten jackal 1 8 ounce. Great thing to throw it with. I like throwing them on these uh, flick shake heads. But then you can also throw them weightless wacky on a one on owner hook or whatever you like wacky rigging. Um, next I'm going to come to our, or the Venerbaits, new 10 inch U-tail worm. Uh, Junebug color. Great action in this bait. Probably the softest 10 inch worm I've ever felt. I mean you hold it in the middle, it's just crazy soft. And then Again, Vincer in the nose of the bait, you're going to want to go with a 3 or 4 rod a round bend with this thing, but it's got a lot of action in the tail just because uh, there's not as many segments as like a power worm or a zoom worm or stuff like that. Great bait to be throwing summertime, Carolina rig, Texas rig, fishing for them big old, big old bass. Next I'm going to come to the uh, my personal favorite, which is the Twitch and Chad. This is the five inch in Arkansas shad, kind of like an orange back shad. Um, throwing this two out wide gap, and I mean these fish just kill this thing. Um, again, just twitching it, weeds, lily pads, top water. Another great thing. Almost kind of walks the dog, gives it a red action of that shad dying. A lot of times I like to give it two or three pops, let it sink and then keep twitching it up. But I got our, uh, I got the second life light color, but there is three. There's the greenback shad, but this is the blueback shad. Really hot color up here in Wisconsin. Um, again, throwing this same place the Arkansas shad is. Just, it just depends on what the bass are preferring in colors. So, uh, again, you're going to come in the nose of the bait with this two out owner hook. Get it on there so it'll ride up the line when you get hit. And then you just kind of, well you just Texas rig it obviously. Come out that middle hump, let the bait come back on itself. And there you go, you're going to have a nice Texas rig. I like throwing this on spinning tackle, it's fun to catch them on the spinning tackle. And that's going to conclude our segment for today. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys next week with probably... I won't have I won't have one next week, but probably my next video is gonna be uh, unboxing from Bass Pro. Ordered two ducats, a Corrado, and a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, I guess I'll get back to you guys next week when I get that. So have a good Christmas. See you guys later.